Alright, got a perfect view of you. Uh. <laughs> Alright, this is Paul with France Mart, and uh, I am here with uh, the founder and CEO of one of our newest and most exciting uh, chains in the uh, France Mart portfolio, uh, Mustafa Yusufa uh, uh, Big Smoke Burger. So, thanks for making time to uh, talk with us today. No problem, you're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, we'll keep this pretty short. Just wanted to have a quick introduction, wanted to let uh, everybody who's uh, been interested in um, in the brand as well as uh, interested in franchising with uh, with uh, with a concept that's uh, got a lot of legs and doing some pretty unique and profitable things. So, uh, uh, first off, just want to find out uh, a little bit about yourself. So, just talk about yourself, your background uh, in the restaurant business, and um, we'll just go from there. Well, my background, I, I've been in the restaurant business since I was uh, 15. Uh, I worked for uh, a steakhouse here in Canada that is pretty big. I started there as, as you know, in the, in the sort of the entry level position and worked my way up and uh, got in the burger business. All right, sounds good. And um, what do you like most about the burger business? Um, I, I, li I like putting out a good product uh, in the sense that you know the customers are happy with the value that they're getting. Uh, we, we, we execute well in the sense of always getting a good product, fresh product in front of the customer, hand cut fries, um, Canadian AAA ground chuck beef, uh, organic, uh, veggie burgers, so a mix of everything but fresh, the fresh element to it. Yeah, and you forgot to mention uh, the chicken and the lamb burger, which are good too. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, of course, burgers need no introduction, right? So it's easy to get people interested and curious about it. Yeah. Um, and uh, I mean, in terms of in terms of the burger the burger business, it's very competitive. Uh, you know, France Mart always tries to identify brands who aren't just you know the cheaper option or the better tasting option, but also the option that uh, is creating brand new markets instead of going after the the, the big guys you know right. they're creating the mark a different market and paving a different way and making the competition irrelevant and right. uh, and uh, there's a couple unique things about you guys like um, you know unit economics and sauces uh, if you can kind of talk a little bit more about that uh, well in terms of sauces we make all of our sauces in-house uh, and those are the sauces run our signature burgers it's the way unique that way where a lot of you know the bigger guys are it's all in jars and is, you know, it's different that way, uh, and our units are smaller uh, with the smaller menu. I think that's where we're, unit economics really works. Smaller menu, easy to execute, uh, smaller locations. So you're not paying crazy rent. Uh, I think that's where our unit is different than say some of the bigger guys. Sure, sure. And uh, in terms of uh, experiences in, in building out these stores. Uh, what kind of, uh, I mean, build-out costs have you been experiencing yourself? Uh, I mean, it was some of the build-outs costs that we've experienced have been anywhere from uh, as low as 150000 to as high as uh, 350000 Okay. Uh, and, you know, uh, and those are some busy locations as well. Sure. And uh, they've been able to do high volume and still do, still be able to compete on, on the sales and uh, unit economic levels, uh, five guys and all the big guys, but, uh, but come at a much smaller investment and... Uh, much smaller space. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I think in terms of build out what we can do in terms of the smaller units, I think you can do uh, a couple stores versus what you can do with the five guys or some of those bigger chains. Uh, for what you pay for their chain, you can do two stores of, of our concept, yeah. depending on where you are in the, in the, in the, in the city. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not knocking five guys because uh, we started their, their franchise program, but very, it's a different animal, a different unique proposition for, for, for folks looking to invest. And so, um, and I mean, it's a very simple concept. Um, so, I mean, food experience is preferred but not necessary. But, I mean, what kind of franchisee would you like to see uh, be part of the team and, and, uh, and work together with? I, I think I would, I, I would I like to see somebody who uh, uh, loves food loves people. I think because once you put those together, executing the business is easy. And if you enjoy talking to people and you enjoy putting out a great product, I think the business side of it will come as long as you watch your costs. I think that's the easy part. I think the franchisee has to be able to want to get up every day and get out there and you know welcome his customers or their customers and talk to his staff and talk to their you know 
managers that are running the store, talk to their district managers that are running the store to see what's going on. But also, I think every once in a while, as the franchise owner, you got to get in there and see what's going on in your in your four walls, as they say. Yeah, be in touch yeah. with the store, right? Absolutely. Uh, but the, you do have a lot of tools and systems so that you can manage multiple units without having to be in the store, like uh, uh, POS systems, POS uh, video systems, cameras. Video cameras. Uh, we have district managers, we have, you know, people that are able to go into the stores and figure out exactly what's going on. Cool. And that's um, something that you train uh, all the franchise owners on and support them on. And uh, you showed me some pretty neat things about uh, how, to, how to control labor, uh, which is probably the biggest, one of the biggest expenses that you need to watch out for. So uh, that's, of course, going to be provided to franchisees, uh, absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yeah, labor always starts with the smart uh, scheduling. You, you know, when you schedule the people before they're in the building, yeah. you have to start, you know, start scheduling smart. I think that's the that's biggest eliminator of your high labor. Sure, so. sure. And uh, I mean, in terms of, I mean, not only are you uh, looking to, to franchise carefully with the right folks, but uh, you're also continuing to build stores yourself uh, as long as yep. the right yep. opportunities come up. And Absolutely, yeah. We've got uh, four stores here in, in downtown Toronto, and uh, we're opening a couple more in 2012 at our franchise. But if the opportunity comes, absolutely, we're going to build corporate stores, yep. And you've also attracted the attention of the major billion-dollar contract feeders, HMS Host. Yes, and, uh, we, did, we just did a two deals with HMS Host, uh, with hopefully more, uh, more to come. Sure, sure. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, that's pretty much all I have. I just wanted to say, leave it open for any, any thoughts or any messages you wanted to send to anybody watching this that's interested in franchising. Yeah, I mean, I think we have a pretty exciting concept. Uh, like I said, what makes us different is sort of the smaller menu, uh, homemade sauces, uh, and sort of back to basics. Where we've taken the burger concept instead of having you know 15 different burgers on the menu and the customer is confused when they walk in, we simplified it. And it's, uh, it's a concept that can be easily uh, executed by uh, anybody. Cool. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thanks, Mustafa. No <laughs>